Hello friends. Today we are going to study few commands from modify menu. Let's go to Fusion 360. See, today we are going to study fillet command, chamfer command, shell command, and draft command. Okay, so this fillet command is used for rounding the corners of your object. So let me just first create a simple object. Uh, see, I have created something like a box. Now, if uh, I want to round the corners of this box, I have to use fillet command. Then here you can specify for the red, uh, type of radius. If you want the radius to be constant or variable, or you can also specify the chord length. Uh, Right now, I'm just going to select constant radius. Now, uh, I have to select the edges which I want to be curved. So I want all these four edges to be curved. I have selected these four edges. Um, here, you have to specify the diameter. Um, Okay, so see here, uh, you can see all the edges are rounded. And this is how fillet command works. Now let's talk about this chamfer command. If you want the edges to be smoothened in a straight line, if you want this edge to be in um, an angled plane, then you can use this chamfer command. Uh, you may have seen uh, that in your glasses, all the edges of your glasses are smoothened so that you won't cut yourself. So we are just going to do something like that. Uh, again, here you have to select the edges. See, I have selected these two edges. Uh, here again, you have different types. You can either choose equal distances or two distances and uh, distance and angle. Uh, I'm just going to select equal distances. Let's specify the distance. Uh, let's say five. Okay, so see this is how chamfer command works. Now let's see how this shell command works. Shell command uh, just converts um, solid object into a sh shallow object. So let me convert this object, uh, this cube into a box. So I have to select a face. If I select this face, it's going to remove material from this face. And uh, I have to select the thickness. Uh, see, I have selected 3mm. So from this face, face, all the material inside of that solid object will be removed by using this shell command. I hope all these commands are clear to you. Uh, we'll study remaining commands in next lecture.